I think everything we have comes from God. The Bible says everything comes from God. I believe it's, I do not, I believe in divine healing. And one reason I believe in divine healing is God's healed me. He healed me of hepatitis C when hepatitis C was told by three doctors to me it is incurable. Hepatitis 1 is curable. Hepatitis 2 is a good chance to get cured. Hepatitis C, they say, incurable. Nothing is known that will be cured. And I prayed and I pleaded with God and I was healed five years ago. I weighed about 200 pounds. I was just bloated and I was yellow and I was weak. And I turned it over to God and He healed me. And I praise God for that. I praise God for that. The doctor said, Mr. Humphreys, something's wrong. We cannot find any symptom of hepatitis C in your body. And I know you were sick with it. And I said, Doctor, the Lord did it. He said, well, I don't know about that. I thought in my heart I got the wrong doctor. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to go on. Two or three other things God healed me of. He's healed me. And I'm grateful. Now, I believe this. I believe there's a part in our lives for doctors and medicine because I believe that God heals that way too. All healing comes either by miracle or by medicine. They're both God's healing. But before you grab the phone call a doctor, you ought to talk to God and ask God for healing. You ought to ask Him to heal and let Him direct and guide your life. I thank God I've had to go to doctors and I've had a I had uh, uh, in a car wreck, my collarbone broken, no other bones, and uh, Dr. Kilgard put, the, put, the, put this bone back together, put a piece of metal in there, and my bones grown back. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for doctors like him who prayed. He stood by my bed and prayed before he ever operated, and he does that on every operation. So we're grateful, but I'm just saying that Medicine and doctors have their place in our lives, in our bodies, I'm sure of that. But you need to trust God with all of it. See, trust God with all of it. And first of all, ask God to guide you. Ask God to heal you. Ask God to take it away. Ask God. Don't just grab a phone, go to the doctor and on the way, and after it's all over, say, now, Lord, bless this. No, ask Him to bless you before you go so that He can heal. And then if He heals not, then He will heal through the medicine. And so God will bless us together as we look to Him with our bodies in this matter of healing and of sickness. I praise God. The fact is, these bodies of ours are not fully redeemed as yet. They're not fully redeemed and that's why we have sickness. And that's why we have diseases. Though they belong to God, they're not fully redeemed. If they were redeemed, we'd never get sick, we'd never get old, and we'd never die. The reason that we get old and, and die is because we're not, body is not fully redeemed as yet, like our soul and spirit. The day is coming when it's going back to the dust, unless he comes before that. And then our soul and our spirit will go on to be with God. And then when He comes back at His second coming, and praise the Lord, I hope to preach next Sunday night. God has already, he, been, he's already told me, brother, pastor has told me that I could preach next Sunday night. and I'm going to preach on the second coming. Praise the Lord, He's coming back. And when He comes back, those who are alive will be translated in a moment and changed. And forevermore caught up to be with the Lord. But until then, we're going to get sick from time to time. We're going to fall and break a bone from time to time. We're going to get older. We're going to get slower down a little. We can't climb these steps like we used to. That's because these bodies are not redeemed fully. The Bible says in Romans, the 8th chapter, in the verse 22 and 23, it said, All nature... All nature out there is waiting for its redemption. It's under the curse. It's waiting for its redemption. When God saved you and me, He didn't save and change and redeem in all nature. That's why you have these terrible tsunamis and the terrible earthquakes 
It's part of the curse. It's part of the devil's work. It's part of the evil. It's part of the cause that earth is not yet redeemed. And it says all of nature groans and waits for the coming of the Lord. So they'll be changed. When Jesus comes back, He's going to change it. There'll be no more storms. And no more earthquakes. Oh, no more devastation. It'll be like the beautiful garden of Eden. It'll be under God forever changed. But it says that we also groan within ourselves waiting for our adoption, that is, the redemption of our bodies. So you see, we're waiting for the redemption of our bodies. And that's the reason we get sick. That's the reason we're going to get sick. And then that's the reason we need to pray that God will heal in the will of God, in the will of God, in the will of God. We pray for healing in the name of Jesus any way He wants to do it. Amen. And so we see then that it is important about that. Let me then go quickly. We need to depend on God to supply all of our needs. Spirit, soul, and body. All of our needs. Because the body is linked with spirit and soul. You see, it's linked with spirit and soul in the scripture where it says, I pray God that your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. And so we see then that it's important that we are one together. We're all together. We need in Philippians 4.19, our God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he would supply, he would supply forgiveness for your sins, he would supply peace for your pain, he would supply hope for your despair, he will supply joy for your sorrow, he will, he will supply life for you, his life in you. But he'll also supply strength for your body. They that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like the eagle. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's physical. And so God will supply all our needs as we believe in Him. As we believe in Him.